piano. I like to use the piano as a, a platform or, or a system to uh, talk about the overtone series. The piano has a system, a very complex mechanical system with a hammer that is pushed with the finger and a lot of things happen to make the string ring. Mm. If you look at this oscilloscope, that's the main tone, and then there are these other spikes or stalagmites. There are other pitches that are in that sound. You hear the main sound, but there are other ones. And here you can see it. This is the overtone series. The low C, G, G, C. So we have our physical, actual, real-world uh, system here, the piano, and the piano string. I hold the pedal down, they all ring. I let the piano pedal down, and they stop. We're going to see, experimentally, if those harmonic tones, those extra tones, are actually on the string. Let's pick a note. Pick a, I'll pick a D. Now the D, that's the fundamental tone. That's the lowest tone, the one that it, it vibrates most naturally at. I'm gonna run my finger along it to truncate it to the nodes and see if those other, other notes are there. I have to find it first, there it is. Of higher, you hear that flute tone? It's not. It's an octave higher. Let's keep going. Do you hear it? Keep going. That was a fifth. Fourth. There it is. You've got to find the right spot. Keep going. The third, major third. Minor third. Do you hear it? And are there infinite now? Theoretically, they're infinite amount, pyramid on top of each other. Um, but I've definitely heard the main tone, what it plays at, and then the octave, and then the fifth, the fourth, the third, getting even ever closer together. So they all exist. Physical systems have these vibration points. All instruments, as far as I know, have all these different tones in there. You don't hear them right away, you have to really kind of listen. And that, these tones, these extra notes, give you the definition of that instrument. That's why an oboe sounds like an oboe. That's why a, a piano sounds like a piano, and a, a voice will sound like a voice or a trumpet. They all have their unique sounds. The overtones gives them this timber or unique footprint, unique stamp. Oh, that's an oboe. Oh, somebody's practicing a violin up in that room. Oh, I hear a piano. The overtones define the instrument's sound. Here's an example again of the overtones and their waveforms symbolized as wavelengths. <laughs> 